Hey Malcolm, what are we reviewing today? Malcolm, what are we reviewing? <laughs> Don't that Blu ray look dusty? Well, you still gotta do the review. Then why the hell did we do all this? I don't know. I, I just like shooting you. the nostalgia critic guy remember it so you don't have to yogi bear a hanna-barbera cartoon making his first appearance in 1959 on huckleberry hound had his own show in 1961 with his sidekick boo boo stealing picnic baskets upsetting the ranger of jellystone bring that shit to the big screen the audience demands it <laughs> Yes, I know you've all been waiting for this. The Yogi Bear movie is here to fulfill your Yogi fix. I remember the riots and outbursts at the mere mention of canceling its 90 spin-off show, Yo Yogi. Oh, I'm not making that up. That show existed. Yo Yogi Yo, he's smarter than the average bear. <laughs> Clearly the potential being utilized with this timeless icon knows no bounds. Thus we have the Yogi Bear movie. Premiering in 2010, it starred Dan Aykroyd as the Prometheus-style alien hybrid of the Garfield movie, and Justin Timberlake as his sidekick, Boo Boo. At last, the role these two were born to play! The film was sadly a huge hit at the box office, which means I have to look over this nostalgic cash-in to find out why. Is it simply because people recognize the character and associate him with good times? Or could it be something more- No, that's it. That's the reason. Let's get through this bear turd with Yogi Bear the Movie. Look, the Warner Brothers sign is made of wood! Because it takes place in the woods! I immediately associate this with Yogi Bear now. Brilliant tie-in! Jellystone Park. For years, families have headed out from the busy city, eager to enjoy a little camping. Malcolm, what are you doing? Calling my agent. They're stealing my Morgan Freeman voice. Hello, Perry? Somebody stole my Morgan Freeman voice. What do you mean that voice belongs to Morgan Freeman? What do you mean we've had this talk a million times? What do you mean to stop calling you and you're not my agent? What do you mean click beep? I'm becoming more and more concerned about having you around here. And much like any Jellystone Park, they advertise the hell out of the fact that Yogi Bear is there. Though in other Jellystones, he's not as friendly. 
Boo boo! I think it's time I introduce myself to that picnic basket. Yeah, so in a bizarre twist, Dan Aykroyd is actually not that great a Yogi Bear impersonator. And with my accumulated talents, it'll be a one enchanted evening. From now on, the picnic baskets are going to fall into our arms. I will use tragedy, Boo Boo. Watch this. Or it's that. Woo! Ah! Oh, oh, hot, 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 hot. But weirdly enough, Justin Timberlake's voice is kind of spot on. But how are you gonna get past the ranger, Yogi? Bored, but the 100th anniversary extravaganza's going on. Who knew he was the Daniel Day-Lewis of Boo Boo's? As you'd imagine, Yogi spends most of his days trying to get picnic baskets, coming up with crazy contraptions to do so. I'm smarter than the average bee! You know, instead of going through all that, you are a bear. You could just kill him. All right. Hey, hey, I broke the matrix. And just like Keanu Reeves, I don't look like I'm really here. Oof. Meanwhile, we cut to Ranger Smith, played by Tom Cavana. He's trying to keep things orderly with his second in command, Ranger Jones, played by TJ Miller. I mean, we're park rangers, sir, to protect and preserve. Oh, at this rate, I'll never be Jason Lee. Hey, it's gotta be better than Aykroyd's impersonation of Rover Dangerfield, or whatever the hell he's doing. When you have a mind like mine, you can't blink, or you'll put a kink in your think. It's true. You could be saying shit like this. We're being visited by 23 different species and 23 different kinds of ships. You know, I, I, I'm not alone in this. But it turns out a filmmaker, played by Anna Faris, wants to do a documentary about Yogi. Unless she's already off to a rough start, she can't even hide her boom mic very well. I was hoping to talk to you about filming a documentary here. Okay, so are we actually gonna let her be funny or is she just the woman? Yeah, I like to highlight all the plants and animals I see. I like to... <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, okay, you could just replace her with a pair of boobs and a smile and pretty much get the same reaction. So what are you here to film? I heard you had an unusual brown bear. Brown bear? When the talks, those are so rare. None that I can think of. He's eaten four. Four. And speaking of kids, ask yourself if any child would follow this conversation from the mayor's office. Well, if we don't have anything to sell, maybe we can profit off what we can't sell. If we rezone Jellystone Park as agricultural land, we can sell the logging rights. This company says they'll give us thousands of dollars an acre just- This is a story about a talking bear in a tie. You can say a witch is haunting the forest. Nobody cares! The ranger introduces Yogi and Boo Boo to the filmmaker. I would like to introduce you to Rachel Johnson, who's here to make a nature documentary. You sound goddamned! I think someone has to lay off the Pazuzu's pedals beer. Would you guys mind if I shoot you? Huh? Yogi, come back and meet your fate. Can you stop helping, please? Actually, my favorite part about this movie is Kavana as the ranger. Because every moment he's on screen, he just so looks like he doesn't want to be there. I know there's a mic for his audio, but can we get a mic for his inner thoughts? Just shoot me, just shoot me. Get me out of this dumb flick. What's this Bigfoot Charger Binks that's supposed to be next to me? Urinate on her to mark her as your territory. Jesus Christ, did he say piss on her? He totally said piss on her. What the hell kind of movie is this? Put a kink in your think. Oh no, a black limo. That means the 90s villains are about to deliver the 90s plot. I have to secure the area. All units. Oh down. my God. Jones. You know I'm the only other ranger here, right? I so hope they mock you for this in Deadpool 2. I am closing your park down. Six to 73. You gotta be $20,000 in the hole. Try 30,562. Okay, not exactly sure how a mayor can shut down a national park, but it gives the ranger a chance to raise money to save the orphanage. I mean grandma's house. I mean the farm. I mean cinema paradiso. I mean, I don't give a shit. A lot can happen in a week. Hey, you know what? I'll even get you started. What's the admission fee for one car again? $30,000. Oh, shit. I guess I walked into that one. Meanwhile, Boo Boo feeds his pet turtle. Animals owning animals seems wrong. While Yogi makes another device to steal picnic baskets, but is stopped by the ranger. You have got to stop stealing food so that campers will leave here happy. But they do leave here happy. Getting your food stolen by Yogi Bear is special. I gave up a season of the Flash for this. Rotten hell, you six foot Winnie the shit. There are repercussions to stealing people's picnic baskets. Not in my experience, sir. Oh, I'm going. On the other hand. Well, I didn't know there was a wrong way to use the Wilhelm scream, but Yogi Bear found a way. That's so distracting, you can replace it with this. Unfunny in joke. 
Smith, meanwhile, tries to see what Ferris is up to. I, I don't know how to talk to girls. Why do you think I spend so much time with animals? All you have to do is scratch their backside and you've got a friend for life. And you try that with people and all of a sudden you're the weird girl on the bus that nobody wants to sit next to. Hey, you gave Anna Ferris a funny line! Seeing how it's the only funny line in the movie, I guess I'm glad it went to her. He ends up asking her to dinner at his cabin, but Yogi seems to be quite the cuck of the plucker. What this park needs is visitors and lots of them. Just make me a headliner. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I want a girl walks in. I'm just hoping this is Thawne from another universe so we can just see this happen. Forgive me, but to me you've been dead for centuries. Tell Snaggle Puss I love him. You will stay away from people. Do you think you can do that for me? Fine. I'll just retreat into this forest garnished by slaughtered smurfs. But oh no, the Big Hero 6 donor might be changing sides. Why is it only going halfway down again? You gotta, doesn't make it easy. No! Oh, okay. All right, so is it a double tap or do I have to press it and hold oh. Yeah, This goes on for 10 seconds. I'll up to all of you. You're welcome. Uh, why is a guy with your talent doing this insulting grunt work? You're gonna be in charge now while you still know everything! Just ask the combination of Shia LaBeouf and Mr. Bean over there. You put me in charge? In a second? Ranger Jones agrees to sabotage the 100 year anniversary of the park, but it looks like Yogi unintentionally might be ahead of him. I can't take it, Boo Boo. Two days without a tasty treat to eat. I gotta eat people! I'm a bear! No, apparently he's referring to the picnic baskets, particularly the one with donuts. Donuts! <laughs> well, granted, 2001 parodies have so rarely been done, but what does this have to do with anything? He wants donuts. Okay, why is he suddenly floating his face towards a giant one? I don't really see any connection or similarities. Hey, Critic. I could really go for some ice cream. Tamron, I am your ice cream. No! You look like you're having a fantasy about being an Empire Strikes Back, except you're playing both Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker, and you're talking about ice cream. Hey, you recognized it. That means you understood it. No, I described it. Understand it, I did not. I'd like to think they're the same thing. They're not. I'd like to think they are. What do you mean stop calling or you'll call the police? What kind of agent are you? You think we might be nuts? There's no might about it. Okay. What's this review doing to everybody? Jones comes across Yoki and Boo Boo and looks them right in the eye, telling them to do what they want. At least he would look them in the eye if anybody cared about what they were doing. Where are you looking? He's right there! People see fireworks every day in the city. They came here because they thought they'd see something different. Uh, thanks again for helping me with the fireworks. I don't know where Ranger Jones disappeared to. I mean, what'd you think I was gonna do? Set up fireworks at night? Day fireworks are the best! I have never felt so gushy. Ranger. I wrote a song. About you. Saw you at the station. At yeah, the mic is on. The mic is on. We all goddamn know the mic is on. The microphone is on. Yes, the mic. Ah, thank God I didn't catch the mic in his head. When this is over, I'm gonna jump off a bridge. Hey, weird, everybody's wearing clothes with no writing on them. What's up with this girl? Is there something wrong with her? Is she the only actress trying? God, I'm getting drunk tonight. Yogi, however, interrupts with a water skiing show, which of course, ends up setting off the fireworks. Fire! Of course, people flee, and the ranger is stuck, not making the amount he needed to keep the park open. I... I thought... I guess it wasn't enough screwing up my life. No, this time, you had to go and bring down this entire park. Look at that face. That's the face of a guy holding a gun under the camera. How smart are you now? I could watch this ranger forever. So he's sent to a different park while Ranger Jones is put in charge, much to the filmmaker's dismay. You and I are just two people who care about things that nobody else does, and 
That's why we're alone. Or maybe that's why we found each other. Rachel, you and this park have one thing in common. You're both moldy and green in all the wrong places. You both deserve a better man than me. I'm gonna see if Legends of Tomorrow needs a cameo. Ranger Smith was right. My whole life I've been different. But it's done nothing but hurt people. Yogi, what are you doing? Get my gun, boo-boo. It's time to add myself to Nicolas Cage's wardrobe. He decides to be an average bear, which leads to, well, average bear jokes. How could this get any worse? Oh, I don't know, a piece of shit punchline we've heard to death? I mean, it's nothing compared to a repeat of that amazing window gag! Come on. I've got it. This is unbelievable. Have a good day, Ranger Smith. I hate this car. I hate it. You know, this is starting to look good. Yo, 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 Boo-Boo, of course, convinces Yogi to go back to his normal ways when they see the park is starting to be shut down. Boo-Boo, get my color. I'm humorously obligated to play this after that line. Put a kink in your think. Nobody is gonna hurt Jelly Stone. You know I'm noticing a pattern that bad Warner Brothers films use the Superman theme? Think about it. Yogi Bear, Kangaroo Jack, Superman Returns. It's a weird cycle. Yogi and Boo Boo go to find Ranger Smith, who as you can tell is still acting like the devil melted his nuts a week ago. Mr. Ranger, I've learned two things. My soul is being murdered. It's being murdered by this art carny from Honeymooners covered in Paddington's pubic hair. Come on. Shotgun! Uh. No, no, I mean shotgun! We're bears! Oh no, they blew my boo boo to boo bits! They find that Boo Boo's pet turtle is actually an endangered species and thus they can't take down the park. But the mayor, now running for governor, and his men try to stop them. Hey there, little buddy. Hey, Boo Boo. Hello there. I just gave Cunnilingus to a turtle. This is my life. They decide to use Yogi's glider from earlier to fly in and grab the turtle and. Has there ever been a good film with a glider? Not that this movie is ever gonna redeem itself, but it is kind of a weird kiss of death, isn't it? Yogi jumps off the glider to grab the turtle, and Boo Boo defies the laws of gravity to hook the bungee cord onto him. Mind if I borrow this? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is not over! Bears! Right on, Boo Boo! What do we do now? Pray to whatever god you believe in! Personally, I put faith in the energy of the collected unconsciousness. I'm actually a Muslim. Boo Boo, I never do! You never ask about me. They bring the turtle to the bad guy and- Why are you taking the turtle to the bad guy? Weren't you spending all this time keeping it away from him? Do you think I care about what the law says? Get this thing out of here before anybody else sees it! You know I'm the mayor of Nowheresville! How do I have all this power? They get the turtle, but Ferris recorded the mayor's evil plan and tries to play it in front of the crowd. They just need a distraction. <laughs> Check this out! Kick it, Boo Boo! Kicking it. We are fascinated by bear butts. Bear butts. You think I care about what the law says? There's about to be a riot out there. I need you out front. But there are bear butts. Oh, no, 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 no. I never took a kickback on anything in my entire career. This calls for a damn awkward walk. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yogi. Seriously, what was that? Was he mimicking the way the original Yogi walked? The mayor's associate tries to get away, but Ferris uses her years of being with animals to her advantage. Gorilla? Himalayan snow leopard. Oh. Yeah, you can drag the scene out all you want. I got Anna Ferris on me. I'm not gonna yell cut. They put the mayor away, and of course, more people are drawn to the park, making it a success again. And naturally, Yogi is still there to encourage criminal behavior. Hi, Miss Movie Lady. <laughs> We're gonna eat the dog too! Korean food tonight! Yogi! Well, I guess that's kind of like Alvin! Love this place. Oh my god, I'd rather do five scary movie sequels than one of these. Oh crap, is there a mic in my head too? Oh, it gives a shit. Just go see Overboard. And that was the Yogi Bear movie. I think I'd rather watch this. Yo, Yogi, yo, yo, Yogi! Let's go! 
I'll give it credit that it's short. It's only 80 minutes long and it strangely feels about that long. It just flies in, does some shit, and then flies away. Like a bird leaving a dump on your shoulder. It's not good, but there's worse things. It seems almost silly to get angry at it. It's Yogi Bear the movie. What did we expect? Even the cartoon isn't really anything that phenomenal. This is inoffensive, I guess, but it's also dumb and just forgettable. Aside from, again, the Rangers dead inside reactions. I swear this movie is almost worth watching just for him. But aside from that, this is a shit in a basket you can easily pass on. I mean, it's not like this movie's gonna make anyone dumber after watching it. Stop trying to block my calls and do your job! I'm on the Titanic now. You're my agent! Stop asking me that! Jack, I can fly. Just don't watch it while operating heavy machinery. I'm not a nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to. And he's just not nearly as good as I can. So, you can't fail if you never stop trying. You have to fight! Urinate on her to mark her as your territory.